Hi, welcome to Old Guys, Gentlemen, Flex Fountain Pens, episode number 42. Today I'm going to be covering the Waterman Commando, which is kind of a plain looking pen, but I love the history behind it. They were pens that came out in the middle of the war, which means sometime between 1942 and 45, and they were brought out in the colors of the different services. Now this one I think is a maroon. I guess that would go with the the army. It's got a 14k ideal nib uh, lever sac filler. I believe it's made of uh, celluloid. They also made them out of uh, lucite. The length of the pen uh, posted is 6 and 1 16th inches which is a, a nice comfortable uh, pen size for my, my my writing. Unposted, it's a little bit on the short side. It, it would work, but it's a little short. It's 4 and 13 sixteenths. Capped is a um, comfortable 5 and an eighth inch. The diameter of the section is 3 eighths of an inch, which works okay for me. I sometimes like them a little bit larger than that. Barrel diameter is 7 sixteenths, so just short. So it writes in the range of triple extra fine to double extra fine with a light hand, uh, down strokes, maybe double extra fine, and with progressively more force in your strokes, you can comfortably get it up to um, double broad plus. It's Definitely full flex on the verge of wet noodle. It's very easy to um, it's very easy to to bend. Well, I take that back. It's more of a full flex. Wet noodles bend by just putting just a little bit of pressure on. This takes a little bit more than just a little. As you can see here, it's uh, very smooth, really nice for um, it's been Syrian or other kind of writing that you want to do and it it just feels nice and smooth there's nothing really scratchy about it the responsiveness is pretty good some of the other ones maybe are a little bit better but it cuts it off pretty quick by the way the ink I'm using is Pelican 4001 Brilliant Brown ink in terms of wetness I think this is true of most pens if you write uh, you know, really, really lightly for that thin line. Um, it's relatively dry, but it doesn't make a difference because you're not really looking for a lot of ink flow to the nib at that point. If you do flexing, you can probably see with each line that I'm putting in there, it, uh, it's pretty wet. It's probably just a little bit more than wet enough, <laughs> but not too wet. Uh, some pens gush out so much ink that I am uncomfortable with how long it takes to dry, but this one's fine. Let's do a little bit of uh, writing with it. This is the phrase that my mom and dad taught me as I was learning to uh, type on a typewriter. I think it used to be now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the country. This one's a little different.
So in summary, it's a kind of a plainish looking pen. You know, there's a lot of pen, pen manufacturers out there who make what you might call pen, plain pens. I hope I did forget one thing. It is kind of cool to see, to say Waterman, registered US ideal, and then Commando. I think that's, that's kind of neat. It is kind of a plain design, but the period of history that it was made in is kind of cool. And it's got a really nice uh, nib. You can do some relatively fancy um, penmanship with this kind of pen. Very reliable. And I guess that's about it. So I hope you uh, got some value out of this and enjoyed it. And until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>